Today I'll be walking through the Procore and QuickBooks integration. To start, I'd like to go through the integration map. These are the items that can be synced between your project management system in Procore over to your accounting system in QuickBooks. As you can see, the arrows that are pushing from Procore over to QuickBooks are being created in your PM system and then syncing via our ERP integrations tab at the company level over to QuickBooks. The items that have the green arrow are being created in QuickBooks and being pushed over to Procore. Walking through the first three lines, this is where I believe a large number of our clients are saving a ton of time in manual and duplicate entry. So first you can sync your standard cost codes from Procore into QuickBooks at the click of a button. Then you can actually take your projects with customers or directories with companies and sync those over to QuickBooks with the click of a button. What's really nice is as you have ongoing projects, you can actually create those in either system as you can see and sync via our ERP integration in either system. The next piece is really the workhorse of the integration. So you can create your commitments, subcontracts, purchase orders in Procore, and then sync those over to QuickBooks as purchase orders. You can also create your commitment change orders in Procore and then sync those into QuickBooks and it updates to the original PO. The next piece, you can also create your budgets in Procore and then sync those over to QuickBooks as an estimate. The item that I really like as a project manager is being able to push costs from my accounting system seamlessly into my Procore budget via the integration. What's really nice about this feature is we actually tag on an extra column inside of Procore's budget tool where you can see your job to date costs or actuals flowing in directly from your QuickBooks or accounting team. To demonstrate this, I'll jump into a project and walk through each step. Going into Procore, now you can see I have multiple projects integrated with my ERP integration in QuickBooks. That's all going to be denoted by the green banner in the top right. Going into a project, my Groundbreak 2017 you can see is ready to be synced with QuickBooks. As it stands right now, I have no project data in this project. I'm going to go ahead and upload a budget and then push that budget over to QuickBooks so you can get an idea and a look and feel of how information is being pushed. So clicking into my budget tab, you can see I have a blank budget. To start, I'm going to go ahead and import my budget. And then I'm going to push this to my ERP tab and actually sync that over to QuickBooks. So you can see, when you log into your budget, the send to ERP here is going to be gray until you actually lock your original budget in Procore. Taking a quicker view, everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and lock my budget and then send to our ERP tab. Once I've sent this to ERP, this item is available to be accepted or rejected by your project admin or account admin before it gets pushed over to QuickBooks. Jumping into my company level, into my ERP integrations tab, I'm going to head to our budget sub tab. So now you can see that the project 002 Groundbreak 2017 is ready to be reviewed. You can see that you can click either reject or accept to actually push that estimate into QuickBooks. If I click reject, I can simply enter my comments and send that back to my PM system. If I click accept, I can click export and then push that seamlessly over to QuickBooks. This may take a few minutes before it's ready to be imported. But to get started, I'll go ahead and go into my QuickBooks and give you an idea of what it might look like. So as you can see, I've already synced my project and a few others with QuickBooks. Going into one I've already synced, just to give you an idea of what that's going to look like, you can see the estimate that I've pushed over from Procore into QuickBooks here. When I click on that, I can drill down and see the item or the cost codes with my description and also the lump sum amount that I entered into Procore and then synced over to QuickBooks. While I'm waiting for this budget to import into QuickBooks, there's one other piece I'd like to go through. The commitment side is really the workhorse of the integration. It's where you're able to create your subcontracts and purchase orders in Procore and then sync those over to QuickBooks. As you can see here, I'm only able to select approved subcontracts and POs and send those over to my accounting system. Again, the workflow is going to be the same in terms of clicking reject or accept from your accounting admin. So to give you an idea, I'll send one of these over as well. So I can see that this is a subcontract for masonry units for beautiful landscapes. When I click export, we'll send this over to QuickBooks and that will land in my vendor list under their PO. For now, I'll go ahead and jump into my vendors and see if this has come through. So a purchase order I just approved in Procore has now synced over to my QuickBooks account. As you can see, I can drill into that purchase order and see the detailed list of my items, my description, and also unit quantities as well. Jumping back into my customers now to see if that has come through. And that might take another minute. 
While that is syncing, I'd like to run through our subtabs up top here. So as you can see within Procore, what's really nice is that the breakdown of the integration map is all being broken down by subtabs in Procore. So you can see you can come in, take a look at your jobs, your budgets, commitments, change orders, and job costs. The big win here for any project manager, or anyone looking to see real-time actuals flow from their accounting system into their project management system in Procore, is all going to be in the budget. So now when I enter my project and click into my budget tab, I can see the job to date cost being pulled in from QuickBooks right into my budget. You can see up top that I have all job to date direct costs updated, and there may be items in my ERP system that have not been added to the budget in Procore. So we will give you notifications at the top of your budget as well. Here's the extra column that I mentioned in the beginning of this demo in terms of the job to date cost flowing into Procore from QuickBooks and project managers would be able to get real-time updates of where each line item stands on their project. Now jumping back into QuickBooks, we see that the estimate has come through. So our project 002 Groundbreak 2017 now has a budget that I pushed over from Procore to QuickBooks in real time. When I click into that estimate, I can now see a detailed description and breakdown of my budget in QuickBooks saving your accounting team and project management team manual and duplicate entry just by clicking and syncing via our integration. Coming back into Procore and jumping back into our ERP integrations tab, I'd just like to go through these sub-tabs real quick. And if you have any other questions, please follow up with your account executive. So my standard cost codes you can see. I have my failed to export, ready to export, and my synced cost codes. I can see all of the cost codes that I've pushed over to QuickBooks from Procore. Now jumping into my vendors, it's the same idea. I can actually see all of my synced vendors, my archived, ready or failed to export, all within my Procore ERP integrations tab. Jumping into my jobs, and again, I can now see here all of my synced projects, ready to export, failed to export, or archived. What's really nice is we will actually notify each accountant or anyone that's working in the ERP integrations tab whether or not a project has been synced. Nothing will ever be pushed and then not recorded or logged within Procore. Jumping into our Budgets tab, as you can see, the project I've already synced is now gone, and now there's one that's ready to be exported, and the same process can start over again in terms of clicking Accept or Reject, and then pushing that over to QuickBooks. Jumping into my Commitments, again, this is where you're going to see any approved subcontracts or purchase orders in Procore, and as you can see, I push over one purchase order, and now there's only one remaining in here for me to address. So I'll go ahead and reject this for now and send that back to the PM system. Going into the change orders, it's going to be the same look and feel as a commitments tab. Only approved change orders will show up in this sub tab and you can see that these change orders are ready to be exported over to QuickBooks. I'll go ahead and send this one over. And now going into my job costs sub tab, this is going to give me a breakdown of all my projects by filtering on the sub jobs up top on the right. So you can see here the original budget amount, my commitment invoice, and then my job to date cost at a company level. Again, I can drill down into my budget at the project level and see these job to date costs. From here, I'm going to pull up our integration map so you can get an idea of what this looks like. So I've walked through the cost codes, our projects with customers, our directory companies, our cost budget, our commitments, commitment change orders, and budgets in Procore, and how that information is being synced over to QuickBooks. The last piece I'd like to show you here is our ERP integrations daily summary email that your accounting admin will receive from Procore. As you can see, each day your accounting admin will receive an email with the daily summary of the ERP integrations. What's really nice about this email is that this will also include any item that they need to come in and address in Procore and either accept or reject from our system. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.